For those of us that use Amazon Marketplace web services to create their shipments, what it says, effective June 1st, you can no longer cancel parts of a multi-destination plan, change the quantities of a shipment, change parts of the shipping plan, or misroute a shipping plan. My name is Jake Diego if you're new to this channel and on this channel I talk about ways I'm improving my Amazon business so that you can improve yours as well as some personal development things and I also share my goals so that I can be held accountable. Getting back to this, let's talk about that first item, multi-destination shipments. So that means in the past if I had a private shipping plan I could delete the part that was going to Arizona and the west coast and just have the ones going to Chicago. Now you can't do that any longer. Also the part about misrouting shipments I think that's fairly straightforward. You can't send it wherever you want. Changing quantities before you could add or subtract quantities now it's got to stay the same once you enter it. And then lastly the part about canceling parts of the shipping plan of course kind of applies to all that. So in itself, it is a little bit of a step up and it does tend to favor bigger sellers. I in particular am interested in it because I like to send four to six shipments a week in smaller amounts. Whereas now I think it's gonna actually favor me doing two very large shipments. I'll kind of see how it plays out, but that's what I'm kind of looking at. One of the things though, and notes from earlier is I always had really good success by using by doing one of two things, and that is by choosing items in the same category. For example, do all shoes, or do all clothes, or health and beauty, or whatever. So that's always helped me with the with splitting shipments. The other part that helped a lot with the splitting shipments, always keeping the items between 70 to 110 items, and I always seem to get a fairly good split. If it was shoes. I'd usually keep it in the 30s to 50s, but that kind of balanced out. So those are my two tips for creating a shipment to hopefully get less splits. Another thing to note as far as from an inventory lab point is if the shipment is horrendous and you're seeing all these different shipments, you cancel the entire thing if you're in private and then redo it all with those items missing, but there's a lot of lost time in that. I think I might just bite the bullet in something like that and just go for it. But all this, guys, goes back to what I've said before, and that is that Amazon owns the land. And what I mean by that is if you build your Amazon business on someone else's land, you got to play by their rules. So we got to abide to their terms of service. We got to do what they ask. We have to do what's asked of us. If they say jump, we got to jump. This is like an adaptability thing in that we want to make sure that we're always in the forefront we're always changing. We're always open to new things because things are going to constantly change, guys. And it's going to happen forever and ever and ever. And I think that's one of the principles in successful people is that they adapt quickly to change. So keep that in mind as we go through things like this. There's going to be many more to come. And if you have any comments or scenarios that you want to share, maybe I can get you some answers to some questions I haven't answered yet. <sighs> And if you have any comments, any questions, let me know below and I'll get you guys an answer as always. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.